When you think of Colorado, you probably imagine the majestic beauty of the Rocky Mountains. And yet, about half the state is made up of flatlands known as the Eastern Plains. While much of the area is merely ranch and farmland dotted by small rural towns without much going on, this largely overlooked part of Colorado also holds some places of great natural beauty and of great historical significance. So while most locals and tourists alike will have their sights set firmly west, I hope you'll enjoy joining me on this video as we explore the overlooked treasures of Colorado's eastern plains. First up are the Calhan Paint Mines, a bizarre but beautiful geological formation hidden among the rolling hills of the plains just west of Colorado Springs. The Paint Mines' unique and bizarre colorful rock formations feel like a set pulled straight out of an alien world in science fiction. And today, a variety of trails throughout the formation allow you to immerse yourself in the chromatic beauty of this unique destination. Archaeological discoveries also demonstrate that native peoples have long used the colorful clays of the formation to create pottery and other items, which gave the area its current name of the Paint Mines. Visiting the Paint Mines today will make it clear why this special place has attracted people for centuries. Another place of natural beauty is the Pawnee National Grasslands, a protected natural area which preserves the vital grassland ecosystems of the high elevation Great Plains that once covered most of Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. Its highlight are the Pawnee Buttes, two rock formations which make for some beautiful windswept hikes among prairie wildflowers in the summer. Opportunities for camping, stargazing, and wildlife viewing makes this a great place to come to appreciate the beauty of an otherwise desolate landscape. A place of great historical significance in the history of the United States, the Sand Creek Massacre National Historic Site commemorates one of the worst acts of violence and cruelty which the young American nation committed upon its native peoples. It was at this site where over 200 people of the Cheyenne and Arapaho Indian tribes, mostly women and children, were brutally and needlessly massacred by U.S. military forces. Visiting Sand Creek today allows you to feel the weight of the evil which happened there, and hopefully inspires thoughtful introspection into the ways we remember our past. But not all of that history was tragic, which you can be reminded of by visiting the nearby Bent's Old Fort. Once the only man-made structure between St. Louis and California, this remote wilderness trading post served as a hub for commerce, trade, and peaceful coexistence between Americans, American Indians, and Mexicans, all of which fleetingly existed in the short few decades in the 18th century. Today it's been restored and is now run by the National Park Service, which does a fantastic job of telling the story of how this little place once represented the possibilities which the Wild West could have been. And with that, those were four suggestions of hidden treasures to explore in Colorado's eastern plains. I hope this video inspires you to turn your attention away from the peaks of the Rockies and look eastward for some rewarding experiences that are to be had in this largely overlooked part of Colorado. If it did, I hope you'll give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel, as I also have tons of other great Colorado content which I regularly post. Happy travels everyone!